Hi again, everybody. Welcome into Princeton High School, ESP Media and VikeNation.org. I'm Greg Waddell as we're here at Princeton High School getting a chance to catch up with the wrestling coach, Ty Robbins, here at Princeton High School, the coach of the year in the GMC. Coach, congratulations on, on that honor. Uh, tell us a little bit about the season. Obviously, uh, you had some good things going on here. Yeah, we're 14-2 uh, we're and two currently, ranked uh, ninth in the city. Um, we've worked hard. We, we started out the season with a, a championship at Grandview up at Columbus, and then we hit our bigger tournaments, and uh, we had some kids place at those bigger tournaments. And then we came back in, uh, in, in January and hit the Oak Hills duels where they get 10 duels, our five each day, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, we took second out of that, nice. out of the you know 10 schools that, that competed in there. And then uh, we've just been hitting the dual tournament circuit now, or the duels. And so, like I said, we're 14 and two, currently going to wrestle uh, on Friday against Northmont here. And then the next day we'll wrestle Winton Woods and Colerain. And then as you get ready for state tournament, how, how do the guys qualify for that? What, what are the, what are the, I guess, the things that they need to do to, to be able to, to continue to advance on? Well, in two weeks we'll go to sectionals. We've okay. already determine where our sectionals are going to be held and just we uh, go over videotape that we have through you know the course of the season of guys mm -hmm. we've wrestled and we work on the things that we need to really improve on uh, to take it to the next level. A couple of uh, wrestlers that we want to kind of not to, to get above and beyond the, the whole team it is, is obviously still a team but uh, Javon Fuqua mm -hmm. at wrestling at 138 uh, tell us about his season he did very well once you got into the GMC's. Uh, yes uh, uh, Javon uh, won the GMCs at 138 this year. Um, he currently only has three losses. Wow. So, and all of those were last minute and overtime kind of matches. And so, it, you know, it gave him something to work on on what he needed to, you know, follow through at the end of matches and and uh, work on in practice. So he's yep. uh, really been turning on. He's of course a two-time state qualifier himself so he's he's looking at going back up to the state tournament and uh and you know looking for a championship and, and he's had a chance to to, pl to to wrestle at that level as well so have you noticed his abilities to to take it to the next level kind of as he's moved up each year freshman sophomore junior now uh yes he's gotten stronger you know he's yeah. had a growth spurt and so <laughs> he's worked on you know he's 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 the kind of kid that will wrestle all year round so he's went to the bigger tournaments and, and faced the competition. And at, the, at that point in the game, it's a lot of mental, you know, toughness and, and getting through the matches and uh, getting through without making mistakes. And so that's what he's learned to do. And he's getting better every day at it. Well, and that's what you want to do, just to continue to get better. He had four wrestlers as well that uh, were runners up uh, out of the GMC tournament. Is it Josu Dawson? Hoseway. Uh, Hoseway Dawson. Okay, Philip. Sorry, Hoseway. <laughs> Don't want to mispronounce that. Philip Hutchins, Colin Houston, and Laval Wilson. Mm -hmm. And uh, congratulations to them and, and their accomplishments as well. How do you how do you get guys to come out and wrestle at, at Princeton? Uh, obviously, basketball is big. Football is big here. Do you get a lot of the footballs? players that want to come in and uh, well we start with a youth program we have a youth program and they come through and it takes us to the middle school uh, our middle school currently just won the GMC's this year Outstanding. Um, and then we have six kids who qualify for state out of that group so we have a good young group of kids coming back we have currently have you know 10 to 12 of our kids that are going to be back on the varsity next year so they tell their friends and then you know we get in with the football coach and and daniels pushes those guys to come out and wrestle and 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 so that's where we start and we build off of that well that's great well so many good things that are going on here at princeton high school and, and the facilities and everything that you got going on here you had 10 wrestlers that had conference honors as well so congratulations to all of them coach uh, your personal accolades it, it's a team sport uh you get a little personal accolade but obviously the guys worked hard for you uh, well, you know, when you, when you get coach of the year, it's just not you that exactly. really focus in. You know, I've got a great uh, coaching staff. We started off with three new coaches this year in our coaching staff, and they've worked really hard uh, to help, you know, get the kids. Mm -hmm. We've all, you know, sat down with a game plan and said this is what we need to do. I mean, last year we were ninth in the GMC, and we sat down and said, hey, we need to make some changes, and we, you know, kids got to buy in. And we only placed three kids last year at the GMC. This year we placed ten, five in the finals. So we've come a long way. The kids are buying in. 
they're working hard, and, and that's what's making the difference. Well, moving in the right direction. That's a great thing. Ty, great to meet you. I uh, wish you best of luck and, and to all the wrestlers as they get into the state qualifying portions and the rest of the regular season as well. All right, thank you as well. That's Ty Robbins. He's the wrestling coach here at Princeton High School. And for more about Princeton athletics, keep it right here on bikenation.org.